Hi everybody, Sensei Mark Gallagher here from AmeriKit Northeast Philadelphia. Our senior Kempo lesson this week has been self-defense. We've been taking some of our techniques that have grabs and holds in them. And we've been taking away the grabs and the holds and applying some strikes. So today I'd like to practice two techniques that involve you defending a punch and counterattacking with strikes that lead into a choke. Sleeper and corkscrew. Let's start with sleeper. Sleeper, the attacker, has the right side in the front and is throwing the right jab. So everybody please step to your left behind the jab. Step to your left, left hand parry to the elbow, right hand bridge hand. Now the right hand bridge hand can go under the arm to the face, it could go over the arm to the face. Traditionally, this one goes under the arm because we're going to be applying a single arm choke. Parry ridge hand. After the ridge hand, the left hand would slide up. You would connect both hands together. Multiple different variations of the choke. Take your opponent down. Parry ridge hand. Choke. We're not going to be practicing chokes today, but I'd like you to focus on this shape right here. That elbow. Dodge the right punch. Parry the right punch. Counter with your own right ridge hand. Follow with your own left palm. And then your right elbow. So what I'd like you to envision. Here's the jab. Step to your left. Your left hand parry. Your right arm comes underneath with the ridge hand. Your left hand is going to follow with a side palm. Behind the ear to the temple. Finishing with the right elbow to the face. Block, ridge hand, palm, elbow. Block, ridge hand, palm and elbow. Parry, ridge hand, palm, elbow. Again, this works perfect for you. Step to your left. Left hand parry. Your right arm comes underneath, ridge hand. Your left hand then fires a side palm. Finish him with the right elbow. One, two, three, four. Fingers up on the parry. Fingers sideways on the palm. Finish him with the elbow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's move on. Corkscrew. Both of these techniques, sleeper and corkscrew, they come from the senior purple belt sheet. Corkscrew, the right punch comes in. This time my right leg is in the front. I do a right hand parry. A twist stance and a left hand parry. Follow through with a ridge hand. So again, here comes the right jab. This time your right leg is in the front. Here's that jab, it's real close. That jab is real close. Block, twist stance, unwind and ridge hand. Next we're gonna step and hit the lower back with a palm. And that's when we apply the choke that wraps around the neck. Corkscrew. Right block, left check. And that's in a twisting motion. Right block, left check. Right block, left check. Unwind with the right ridge hand. You would then step with your left foot behind. Your left palm hits the lower back. Right arm applies the choke. But remember, we're not choking today. And this shape of a choke is the same shape as an elbow. Can you see the right jab? Block it, check it, ridge hand, palm low, elbow high. You can keep the exact same pattern if you like. Block and check, ridge hand goes high, palm goes low, checking your opponent's height for a nice elbow strike. Your right leg is in the front. Double parry. Ridge hand, palm, elbow. Right leg in the front. Double parry. Ridge hand. Block and check. Ridge hand. Now that low palm, of course, if this hand is coming at you, that low palm can turn into another block. And then again, follow with your elbow. Double parry. Ridge hand, block. 
step in an elbow. Let's try that again. Double parry, ridge hand block, and elbow. Double parry, ridge hand is an arm swinging at you, take that left hand and block. Follow through with an elbow. Is there no arm swinging at you? Block, strike, strike, strike. So I'd like you to open your minds to any Kenpo techniques that involve you wrapping your arm around the neck and choking. Any one of those can turn into an elbow strike. Get to work and have some fun, everybody. Thank you so much. Asa.